<laughs> Just a joke. <laughs> Sorry I crossed the line there. I've always lacked restraint in these situations. See what I did there? I relieved the tension by making fun of myself. Think of it as an advanced technique for winning people over. Give me them techniques. Mind control. Occasionally let you skip negotiation when attempting to pertain to person. I do that already, but that's cool. All right. You're right. All right then. Well, at least I'll make good use of Matsu's uh, pressing the wrong button helps setting up my next speech. I feel like I'll be able to fully express my beliefs if you're here. I shall ask you again another time. We can discuss it again at the speech. There's some good charm. Give me more charm points. All right. Oh, wow, that's my charm well, point. Then, I'll see you again. By the way, we need to continue that let's play. It was very engrossing. Hi. Thank you for waiting. Here you go. All right. See you later. All right. Let's see what everyone was uh, talking about. My heart swoon. Maybe it was you who said Robojiro. Level 40 trying secret boss. Let's go. I'm gonna die. Turn one, everyone but me and best boy is dead. Ah, good. I feel like I've gotten personas easily. Oh, well, no, I guess it's them begging for their lives. All right, let's go. Yeah, can't take down Okamura that easily. Everyone's in These random thieves need to hurry up and deal with Okamura. Not just him, but all the companies that split their employees. Yeah, we're in trouble too, you know. Take one out, and you gotta make all of them go. It's only fair. Man. Why are they raking us over the coals? How come I can never get a seat anymore? is starting. Let's begin class. We'll continue from last time. Well... Um, again, uh, Mr. Ushimaru, please come to the faculty office. Yeah, you know. What? I don't know what business this is. You better study on your own until I return. Kawakami, you were the hey. bomb. Wasn't that Kawakami on the PA? There's no reason the announcement was real. It must have been the signal. Kawakami's gracious is given this free time, so you better put it to good use. What do you want to do? Read. Let's get that charm up. That's two. Studying my weekend. Guts. Baseball. Alright, well, this is pretty much it. I also want to read that fishing book, too. But I'll read about the other one dancing first. Wow. Not just her looks, but her way of life was also very beautiful. Hey, hey. Oh, I didn't realize how long you've been reading. How far did you get? Hmm, seems you still have some pages left. You should continue on some other time. Ah, uh. uh, the teacher's back. <laughs> ah, they don't ever know when to call me out. Anyway, time to resume the lesson. Yep. Ooh, that was close. Kabakami helped us get a good chunk of free time, though. Best teacher. Made her coffee so good. <laughs> good show. Boy, do I love cars in the movie. What are you... How come we keep... This is the second time you spelled matter wrong, Jaden. It's two T's. Hey, what's a catchy up to? He's in hiding now that everyone turned against him. Public opinion is truly flipped between him and us, but I doubt he's given up. And if we don't hurry, the public will turn against us next. There are already signs of that. 
Still, let's move. We can't be wasting our popularity. I'd like to stop my father as well, for everyone's sake. Considering our circumstances, we must follow through with this. Oh, it's Master Coffee, actually. That's pretty good. Got plans. What are your plans? Look, I'll hang out with you guys later. Right now, I need to get my charm points up. Blah. That's my charm point. Who's ready for another Maid Cafe visit? Woo! Maid Cafe away! Oh, I guess I could have fast traveled to the Maid Cafe. Oh, well, it's right here. Here go all my days. So, what will you order? Get on it. An omelet. Could it be that you're actually starting to like this place? In that case. Now it will draw drawing your sincerity uh... on your omelet. Alright, actually do it right this time. Mm, my apologies. Oh no. I was trying to write earth shattering. Whoa. Why did she pick that? Mm, I try my best. Fix it. I knew it very well, Master. Being strict even to a cute maid, huh? You got some real guts. Hmm. That was unique. Hmm. Either way, it looks like you learned how to deal with people. The maid is sad. Coo sign. Master, I'm sorry for messing up today, but your strictness showed me how reliable you really are. Goodbye, Master. Have an amazing rest of your day. It's okay. She got over it. She uh, learned from the experience. Sometimes it's good to be strict to people. Ah, uh. uh, you're doing absolutely nothing today. Oh yeah, please hang out. Yes, charm. All right, I have to be able to hang out with Oya in advance now. <laughs> Hey, it's my number one guy. What kind of news you got for me? I'll smack you good if it's not good enough. Hey, you sure you're okay? <laughs> what do you mean you're worried about me, Lala? You're usually kind of... <laughs> Man, I haven't seen her drink this much in forever. What? I haven't been drinking at all. I'm totally not drunk. Something bad happened? Ooh, you're sharp, kid. Truth is, um, my quota got doubled. Ugh! It's gonna take, like, four times as much work to get that much done, though. They're shackling me down, so I won't have time for anything else. Oh, my chief's such a shithead. He must not like you. Did he find out? I'm not real sure, but that bastard probably knows something's up. Ugh. Damn it. Before this, I was starting to feel like a real journalist again. The rush of investigating Kayo's case and covering the dark secrets hidden away by our corrupt society. But now, it's going to be impossible to run my investigation with this quota. That doesn't sound good. Of course it's not good. But what am I supposed to do about it? They'll fire me if I can't reach my quota. Hey, Lala. If they fire me, can I live here? That still won't help my investigation, though. This incident's over a year old, and the authorities aren't doing shit. <gasps> Maybe Kyle really was the true culprit. You should trust in her. That goes without saying. I mean, if I don't, who will? Watch your temper. <sighs> uh, what am I doing? I mean, I'm the one who dragged Kyle into politics. My fault this ended up happening to her. You know, she started out in book publishing, mostly taking photos of nature and wild animals. She's a genius behind the camera, though. That's why I thought she'd make the perfect partner for me. Hey, you can't blame yourself. Gaia Chan was just as uh, set on exposing the evil society as you were. Isn't that right? Shit. But I didn't get her involved in the first place. Damn it, that incident's all my fault. That's why I gotta get to the bottom of it. That's the spirit. Hell yeah. 
No, it's weird how calm I get when I'm talking to you. It's almost like you actually understand me. Sorry. Oh, and I'm sorry for snapping at you, really. It's just must have gotten to me. It's just driving me this quota business and all. Driving me crazy. I'm gonna have to put all my focus on that for now. I'll still be counting on you for Phantom Thief stories, though, as long as you're up for it. Cool. Give me that rank six. All right. And charm. I think I'm gonna have to ease off of my investigation for a while too. I don't need any more eyes on. But I might be able to help some of my coworkers. Journalists will do anything for a scoop. Now that I think about it, I'll take any tidbits you have for me today. <laughs> Hope you don't mind if I get going back to drinking though. This little conversation really sobered me up. What? No charm! God damn it, Oya! Hey! Ah, we were able to grab a seat. Good shit! Here, here's where I get my free charm. Somehow she managed to get me a free chair. That, that's how she helped. Hmm? Wow. Not just her looks, but her way of life is also very beautiful. Also, the book said something weird there. What? Even when facing death, her soul was free. Yep. Oh. So you finished reading the Alluring Dancer. Well, I don't know if you live exactly like she did, but you learn a lot, don't you? Give me that charm. I'm so close. All right. I'm not really. Oh, we're almost at the station. I'd say that was an efficient use of your time. Jeez, Jaden, I don't trash your favorite characters, said M. And then Jaden says, I trash Ross's. But he didn't say, like, Ross and then, like, the little, like, apostrophe. No, he put Ross's, Ross E-S. <laughs> the fuck? I just trash Jaden's English. Autumn is for eating, autumn is for art, autumn is for reading. Stories? Stores will use whatever reasons they can to pull in customers, the seasons in particular. Ah, uh, yes. People also say that autumn is good for sports. A while back, baseball was a national sport, but these days people have been into soccer. As you know, black and white are the common colors for soccer balls. Now then, Father, could you take a look at this picture? Do you know this one? Do you know why they chose the color black and white? To make it easy to kick? Honestly, to make it easy to kick sounds like a good idea, because it's on, like, green grass. Goes from Ross to Ross trashing them. Yeah, but Ross's plural is not Ross, is it? I think this is plural Ross's. And this is, like, if you're talking about a specific Ross. Not Ross's. Yeah, yeah. That's possessive. So, like, if I, I was sorry, it's like. This is Ross's thing. Versus I shit on multiple Ross's. I'm the one who understands your language the most. Ross is... Pl that, that's not, right? Ross's. No, that's like a fucking village. Honestly, I don't think Ross has a plural like that. Apostrophes are never plural. Uh, I don't know about that. I think apostrophes can be plural sometimes.
I don't know. I'm, I'm more curious about this than about the soccer ball question. Apostrophes plural. Apostrophes are used to form plurals of letters that appear in lowercase. I was right. No, I'm right. M's wrong. So, for example, if you say, there are three letter P's in that word, that's correct. You wouldn't say, there are three letter P's. Because that doesn't make sense. You would say P's. Apostrophes can be plural. So it's the same situation. Your name is not a lowercase thing. I guess that's true. But Ross's doesn't sound right. That just looks dumb. Ro that, that's, that can't be correct. Let's see if that's also for names. Uh, plural for names ending in S. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Exceptions to the general rule. Use only an apostrophe for places or names that are singular but have a final word in a plural form and an ending in an S. Get fucked, I'm right. Get destroyed. Get destroyed, I'm correct. The English major is right. So you would say St. James's place. You wouldn't say St. Jamie's is. That's not how that works. I'm right. I know how to say my goddamn name. Get fucked. Now let's talk about the soccer ball question. <laughs> Get destroyed, though. I I'm super happy I got the plur... I got to prove something correct about the English language. I feel so accomplished. Hmm. That feels good. I feel 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 right there. Got nothing to say, Em. Link source, please. Okay, I'll be right on that. Apostrophe the punctuation guide. Boop. Now just type that in and search for find. Ross is right. right anyway uh this whole question to make it easy to referee I don't fucking... to make it easier to kick i guess would make the most sense i don't know i always get miss usami's questions wrong Since 1980s, the Thomases, both of whom had multiple PhDs, have sold other books and magazines there. From your source. Yes. So, from my source, I'm correct. Right? So, I'm correct. This... Or, fuck. That's correct. That's correct. Ross's is not correct. Correct. Correct is Thomas's. No, it's not. It's not Thomas's.
apostrophe at the end of the word means belong to, therefore St. James is correct. It should be St. James's as the apostrophe without the S is used in something belonging to a plural. Our employees is right, or where the surname is also plural. Right? All right, how about the plural for Ross? All right, here you go. Here you go, I'm still right. Even if it's a weird circumstance, here it is. The possessive form of almost all proper names is formed by adding an apostrophe and the S to the singular apostrophe alone. But this style rule, you would express the plural form as Ross and as Rosses. From the New York Times Manual of Style and Usage 1999 Possessives. I win. End of discussion. There's a, a literal example of my name. Is Ross is correct. Even if the name ends in S, it's still correct to add another S to create the possessive form. It's also acceptable to add only an apostrophe to the end of singular nouns in the end of form S. I'm right. I'm right. Everybody. The answer is no. No, the answer is fuck you. Anyway. <laughs> oh, the answer is no reason? No, it's, it's not no reason for the soccer question. Are you shitting me? Is there no reason? I have no idea. Is it a trick question? It seems like she always does trick questions. Link source again, please. Oh my god. And it literally says the source is right there. It's from the New York Times Manual of Style and Usage. What do you mean, link the source? The source is in the quote. Fine, but here you go. Here's here's the quote that's quoting the quote. This has been a long debate, but this is concerning my name. And I, I do not want to have my name look like ES at the end. That looks stupid. I refuse to believe that that's correct. I like how a lot of these comments are about people bitching about proper pronunciation and how it's really annoying. The simple rule about writing exactly what's said is all that's ever needed. This is a very much us debate. We argue about something that doesn't matter for an extended period. Yeah, absolutely. Gave Ross the answer he hasn't chosen. <laughs> Ross's is not... No. Okay. Here's how it works. Ross is... That's like... Equals... Ross... Possession. His... Possession. However... Ross... Rosses equals there are multiple Rosses. Honestly, Ross could almost be a plural in and of itself. Like, there are multiple Ross in the world. Yes. No, many Rosses own something. No. When would you ever need to say that? Rosses is not a word. No! Rosses is not a word! Nobody ever says that! 
And you are you are objectively wrong. We have proven this incorrect. So then, if you wanted to say that many Ross own something, you would say... Like, what would you even say in that? I guess you would say something like... No, because you would never be talking about multiple Rosses all owning the same thing. That's weird. I don't like Rosses, because that's wrong. It doesn't exist. Anyway, there's no reason. No. Incorrect. Jaden, I fucking hate you. The answer is that uh, it can be identified better on TV. When Soccer was first being aired, they wanted to make sure it'd be clear on black and white. Incidentally, the ball is composed of 12 black pen pentagons and 20 white hexagons. A contrast of colors stretching over the surface uninterrupted. Don't you think it's elegant? Wow, I knew Jaden wouldn't get it right. Duh, I mean, he's Jaden. A recent design that caught my eye is the moon burger, which uses an egg to represent the moon. I'm well assured of the bad rumors surrounding Okamura foods, but you can't argue with hunger. Mm. You really think someone like that eats hamburgers? Remember what numbers? Does numbers matter for the next exam? Okay, so the Chicago manual style? I don't subscribe to Chicago. I fucking hate their style. It's basically a ripoff of MLA. So I'm gonna choose to go with the... What's the style I put? New York Times, man. Yeah, yeah, no, I'll go with that. Oh, I have no idea how many pentagons are on the ball. Oh, well. Look, it's my name, so you guys have to say it the way I want to say it. I'm special. Please accept that I want my name to be said the way I want it to be said. I could go to... Hmm... To the Maid Cafe. Just for that, I'm not going to the bathroom for the rest of the game. Rosses suck at this game. Rosses suck at the game! Oh, Jaden. Just stop. <laughs> Every time you type, it's like a cancer. On the English language, even though it's Jadenese. Omelette du fromage. How suspicious. Tap, 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 tap. In that case, uh... Uh... I'm gonna start right... I'm gonna write Ross... I, I want to write Ross's on the omelet with ES at the end. Whoa. All is forgiven. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll make sure to call you Super Dork Two. Hmm. That sure was unique. Give me that charm. My apologies. Goodbye, Master. Goodbye, Master. Ah, ah you're back. back. Oh, hey, it's a catchy. What's up? There haven't been any mental shutdown cases lately, right? That since Okamura first took over, his ranking is in the palace. Perhaps the culprit behind them is cautious due to the success we've had recently. So it's because of us! Damn, I'm glad we're famous! But it's highly probable they've become active again. Especially if they think the Phantom Thieves aren't actively attempting to do anything. We're also going to be in a lot of trouble if we let public opinion go down the path it's heading. Yeah, there haven't been a great deal more investigation comments lately, and we're all trying so hard. Our inactivity might be upsetting. We should keep that in mind. Hey, what's up, Ketchy? Hi. Ah, oh, sorry to intrude. I simply happened to be passing here and had an urge to drink a cup of fine coffee. Ah, yeah, thanks for your patronage. <laughs> I should be thanking you. This is one of the few places I can actually relax. My apologies. I'm sure I must be closing town. I'll be on my way soon. I must I'll be going now. Hey. <clears throat> yes? Oh. Every day, Kawakami. I hope you don't like spending your evenings doing other things. 
Oh. Oops. <laughs> Oops! Oops! I'm, I'm, God damn it! <laughs> God fucking damn it. Yes! Alright. <laughs> Rosses suck at this game. That's going to be the name of this episode, too, if I can remember. At least we get to hear more coffee tips from the chief. Mm -hmm. Let me explain. American Hawaiian Kona, a Hawaiian treat because of the rarity and prices of Kona beans, a Kona blend only needs to contain 10% Kona beans. A 100% Kona coffee roast is quite expensive. Good Kona coffee is known to have a rich flavor, bright acidity, and complex aroma. Wait. Didn't I tell you not to go anywhere near the rich beans? What the fuck? <sighs> the flavor profile is bland. You should practice more before roasting out the full potential. Although I see you're preparing the cup. <sighs> Maybe it's fate. Your baggage seems to follow you wherever you go. I guess everything good or bad was meant to happen. It's not usually one to believe in that crap. And would you be coming here for fate too? Haha, <laughs> that isn't like me. But I hope our chances meeting turn out to be something good. I know, I know. Rambling old men aren't popular. Anyway, thanks for the coffee. Well then. You were going to use slave labor and were punished by karma. Yeah, typical mistake of the Rosses. I'm still not gonna let that go. ES is fucking stupid. Oh, I mean, imagine if it was like this. Th this is how I feel. Doesn't that just look dumb? Just anytime there's like a Y, E, S next to each other. No, it, doesn't that just look dumb? Like, yeah. That's how I feel. So I'd rather it be like... Ross... Is. I I'd rather it be like this. Rossies. <laughs> no. What's wrong with Rossies? I now have like six tabs open that are open regarding apostrophes. Who could it be at this hour? It's probably Ross arguing about the way his name is pronounced. You have tomorrow off, right? I'm going to be at standby at the hideout. So, since it's day off, we got to play games. I'll bring an awesome one tomorrow. I'll show you the ropes so you can use it to let out your stress. It's a retro game called Power Intuition. Look forward to it. Time to make like a tree. It should be, uh, we should get some sleep if Futaba's gonna be here during the day tomorrow. Okay, supers, it's easy. It's easy. How come all our names suck to have an S at the end of them? I mean, my name already has two S's. I don't need an E-S to, like, fucking ruin it more. I already have to accept that another S has to come in if I want to make it, like, multiple plural. But fuck, no. That's dumb. So much for the great detective. Akechi Kun's finished. I'm really curious about their true identities. Those calling card posters are collector's items now. Futaba's gonna help with her. Oh, oh, you mean, uh... Uh, one, one sec. Here, here. I know what you mean. You mean, uh, Futabas, right? Futabe. Jaden. Futaba is a bay. A hey go face. More than one. Hey. Hey, Ross. Futaba's down here at the shop. Sounds like Futaba's downstairs. Sounds like Ross wants to go get some food. We had 16 days left. We're good. It's also Sunday. Let's check the shopping channel. Hi, everyone. Social socks. Uh, money, 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 money. Sonic socks. Maybe they increase your agility or something. Yes, I learned that in grade school. But if it, if it's double S and it's like a name, 
then it should be this. Ross's is dumb. Is dummy thick. It's dumb. It's dumb. I don't like it. So I'm not gonna use it. I mean, just like imagine typing Ross's into Google. Ross's. A genitive singular of... What the fuck? What's a genitive? A case that expresses possession or relation equivalent to the English of. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you actually shitting me? No! We both got smoked! Guess what? Are you ready for this? This equals the plural of Rosses. One, one sec. But you know what? This, it, this does exist. Guess what this equals? This equals the singular plural of Ross. Are you shitting me? So I'm correct, but you're also correct that Ross's exists. It just equals the singular plural, because they got rid of the apostrophe. <laughs> what the fuck is the singular plural? Are you ready for this? It's the genitive singular of Ross. Which means, in a genitive case, a case that expresses possession or relation equivalent to the English version of. So apparently, the Rosses. Oh my god, that is funny as shit. Was that an idiot? I can't parse that link. <laughs> it's when multiple Rosses possess a thing. The Rosses of Yorkshire. So that means there are many Rosses of a place. There are many Rosses is the plural and Ross's thing that is so fucking dumb but that is so funny it's on Wikipedia this is the appendix glossary uh, here you go Jaden you were wrong that's not what you said It's a genitive case. You did not say that, Jaden. Either way, M was wrong. And she was the one that was most adamant about it. So that means I'm happy. Because we we're both wrong. I mean, if you were right about that, Jaden, good job. This will entire be... Yeah, oh, absolutely. This will be... I still do not understand. I, I... How do you not understand, M? It's so easy. I, I literally posted it. There are many Rosses of a place. So that means Rosses is not, it does, it does not equal the plural as it, so Ross is singular. All right, Zuber will explain this. Let's let him explain this. All right. Yeah. Ross is the singular. Rosses is ownership. Like with the one apostrophe, no S. Rosses is the plural. There are multiple Rosses. And Ross's is plural possession. That is so funny. <laughs> My name's a clusterfuck. <laughs> 
They take away the apostrophe for plural possession. Get destroyed. <laughs> I think we just fried M's brain on that one. Oh, uh, that was funny. That was very entertaining. I, I enjoyed that. Uh I'm just reading. <laughs> Alright, I'm happy with that result. That's fine. If you want to say it's plural possession, Rosses is a lot. I just didn't want that to be the plural of Rosses. That's so dumb. I still don't get where you found this info. It's... I have something. Right here. Boop. So, here's the wikipedia.org version of Ross's. And that explains, down here, that Ross's, as a noun, is the genitive singular of Ross. You follow that link to find genitive, and it explains the genitive case, which is a case that expresses possession or relation equivalent to the English word of. So that means the genitive part is under germ. What? There's multiple uses of the word genitive, but this is talking about genitive case. The debate will never end. The genitive part is under German. What? It's not under German. Yeah, because in English, it doesn't exist. English, it's literally nouns describing, like, specific places. Like the Rosses, which is an entomology thing, and literally the Rosses, which is a district county. Ross is a German name. So, of course, it's gonna have German pronunciation. Ross is not an English name, it's a peninsula in, like, France, where everyone speaks German. So you're correct. It is in the German section. That's the wiki page. Oh my fucking. Oh. Ross. Wiki. How about in language? The country, the county of Ross, which is in the United Kingdom. I don't know. It's apparently a Ross rifle. That's pretty cool. A pull-action bolt rifle, 303 cal. Oh, that's pretty nice. It's like a little rifle used in Canada. Oh, neat. Super Jaden, back you up here. Oh, okay, you know, let's back you up. English verb Ross's third person singular simple present indicative form of Ross. A third person singular simple present indicative form of Ross. As a noun, it's the plural of Ross's. However, Ross's as a verb is a third person singular present. Oh my, that's fucking annoying. Hmm. You skipped over the noun part. I'm going insane. I mean, in the noun part, it certainly does say it's the plural of Ross. 
that is correct. It does say that in English. But we're speaking German here. No. I, I'm i just going to conclude that I don't fucking care. Because apparently it says Rosses. Now I'm plural of Ross. Well, I proved that apparently in German, the original language, it came from... I'm correct, says M. Okay, let's just let M be correct, I guess. She knows how to say my name. I see how it is. But no, in, in all seriousness, I think it's both. Wait. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. M, I hate to break this to you. I'm still correct. Now, let me stop you right there. Let me explain why I'm correct. Okay? Ross, you found it. Alright, hold up. Look at the Wikipedia page that you found again. And I want you to notice that there's something wrong about it. It's very important. You need to look up. Just look up and find what's wrong about it. Okay? I'll give you a moment. I won't tell you immediately. But I've trapped you. I've won. I have I have the hot hot logic. Did you find it yet, M? This is a this is a pretty big mistake. All right, I'll, I'll make it. I'll make it easier for you, because she she's not noticing it. All right, let me do it here. Here is the link I posted. It's still spelled the same. No, here's the link I posted. Ross's. That's mine. Here's the link M posted, and it should be immediately obvious. That's the link M posted. What's the difference between mine and hers? I think it should be pretty obvious. It's one very small minute difference, but it makes a big, big difference. It's the capital R page again. Yes. Ross is a capital R which is yours. No. My name is this. It's not this. Yes, it is a place. Guess what? Ross is a proper noun. So it has to be capitalized. Ross's is, is not correct. Is correct. If it's not a proper noun. Genitive is under German, because guess what? It's a German name! So you're just not... No, you're just straight not correct. Actually, let's find out. Origin of Ross. It might actually be French. It's a Scottish and English surname, which originated such as the region of Ross in northern Scotland. Well, I was totally wrong. Okay, never mind. Well... I don't know anymore. I don't fucking know. I'm just going to say... We speak English, yes. But if you meet someone from France, their name doesn't suddenly change. This isn't like crossing through Ellis Island. I just want it to end. I don't know who is right, perhaps neither. Maybe Ross is the right word. Who the fuck knows? No, that's the pronunciation. I don't care. All right, let's just go. I don't I don't care anymore. That was an episode. <laughs> Seems the employees are fools. Eh, yeah, they're coming. 
Anyway, it's daytime. So what are we gonna do with our day? Should be a people. Uh, I'm gonna go find someone to hang out with. Maybe Futaba. Yo. Yo, I'm gonna hang around here today. So I brought a pretty ancient game. I mean, you're the only one I know with an old game system. Anyway, it's called Power Intuition. You have to have courage to test me. <clears throat> cool. Hey, hey. Uh, I think I'll pass. I need to go do the maid cafe. You understand, this made cafe thing is very important. I was born in an English speaking country. But nowhere have I seen that my proper name should be spelled with an ES. As an improper noun, absolutely. Don't cut that out. <clears throat> no, I'm, I'm not gonna cut that. Are you kidding me? What do you think this is, huh? How suspicious. How suspicious hey, indeed. Uh... Thanks for ruining my omelet by retributive justice. That's nah, forgiven. Mm -hmm. Give me them charm hmm. points. Hmm. Hmm. Need to get those if I want to hang out with Makoto. You understand, right? Uh, hey, oh, thank you. you. Goodbye, I'm out. Goodbye. Ah, you're back. Ah, you're back. That is a cute picture of Haru in the chat. Here, a picture of adorable PQ2 Haru to cleanse the pout of this debate. She is very cute. <clears throat> I like those socks. Futaba's is better. Wow. Jaden has to just destroy you. My speech. Let's cleanse it with a nice, rousing speech from Yoshida. This gives me charm, too. <clears throat> Your yeah, Futaba looks pretty cute there, too. Stage is set. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it, but... I know you're not going to be my right-hand man, right? Don't worry, I won't play any tricks. Feel free to talk about being falsely accused. I'll handle whatever comes from it. I saw Kuramoto's grandson around here. I bet he's curious about today's speech. I see. I haven't spoken to him since we last met. A speech should serve as your response to him. I didn't think any of the parties would be back for no good Torah. He is going to talk about the Phantom Thieves, right? I couldn't care less about him. I'm just interested in hearing about the Phantom Thieves. Very well. Okay, I'm going to get started. Do your best. Break a leg. I'm getting nervous. Yeah, break a leg. Yes. Will do. Everyone. The reason they're causing such a stir is because they're addressing the world's problems. What are you doing, Tora Nosuke? Setting aside whether their actions are right or wrong? There is one thing I can safely say about the Phantom Thieves. A belief with conviction has the ability to move a person's heart. I... I am sure you are all aware that I am no good Torah, the one accused of embezzlement. I was a fool 20 years ago. It's no wonder that I was considered a failure as a politician. However, because I was accused like that, I was able to understand the suffering of the weak. The most important... Why am I in politics? In the past, it was merely for personal gain. But what do the Phantom Thieves continue to change hearts? I believe they do it for the world and its people. And in choosing to do justice for others, they had no choice but to disguise themselves. No matter what the world says, I fully support them. I... I am just an average citizen. However, I will continue to voice my beliefs. I may not be able to become a Diet member this election, and I may not be able to effectively change during my lifetime. However, but I've made my peace with that. I will be happy as long as I can be a meaningful stepping stone for the future of our youth. Thank you for listening. I set the stage for nothing. So you have no intention of accusing old man Kuramoto? Yes. That's right. Jeez, such a heartfelt speech from someone your age. People are probably laughing at you as we speak. I doubt any of them were moved by your words. I might be the one who was in this entire city. I might be the only one in this entire city who was. Matsushita. Proceed as you will with your candidacy. 
I'll take measures to ensure the party backs you. Within the limits of my abilities, of course. Goodbye. Hmm, <clears throat> I candid to see, huh? What an unexpected turn of events. The Phantom Thieves. Perhaps it's the effect of you moving my heart. I think you had a change of heart. That must be you. Still, I have you to thank for all this. The Phantom Thieves, the power to change a person's heart. I don't possess a special power like they do, but I won't lose to them when it comes to conviction. Speech is my only weapon, just my voice and my words. That's how I win people over. Like how I say that Ross's is totally not the... No, I can't stop. Thank you. Thank you for sticking by my side, Fowler. Thank you for not using Ross. That's just pretty cute. Google said it did. All right. I'm up to rank nine. I didn't even realize it was that high with Yoshida. <laughs> Contrary to what I thought, getting your heart stolen isn't such a bad thing. If he's a member of the Phantom Thieves, then ah, I'm talking to myself again. Another bad habit of mine. Time to finish up for today. Well then, I'll see Good you again. Good job. No charm for Ross. How are you feeling? A bank, a pyramid, and now a spaceport. Anything goes in the continental world, I suppose. Anyhow, this is on a grander scale than before, so we'll have to do some research. We should get moving soon. Why don't we go to the palace today? I'll think about it. I, see. I won't push you, but don't forget about Haru. Talk to me anytime you want to go. I'll make sure I'm ready. And what's duck? Want an exam? Oh, hey. I can close the office for the afternoon if you're gonna come. Uh yeah, let's go right away. <clears throat> what's up, Kemi? The evenings have been getting cooler. I might want to try a different environment. Don't think my bomb will deepen just... Alright, I'm not going to waste my time with the camera. Sorry. Got to spend my time elsewhere. Such a beautiful day. What the fuck are you guys talking about? Condoms? What? Oh, Takemi's handing you a... Oh, okay. I mean, be safe, I guess. Wrong with that. And it's time for my run through all the areas, getting all the vending machines. Yippee dippy doo da. Let's go. Oh, wait, can't buy another one. We finally got the 69 Dr. Salt Neos. Hot. I think I used all my discussion points on that stupid conversation. Oh well. It was worth it. Tell me it wasn't. Garbage, you have nothing, you have something, right? I always forget. You have Ugandan soda, I guess that counts as something. Actually, did I check this one last time? You have Ugandan soda, okay, I guess that's good. <clears throat> yes, I know it's not called Ugandan soda, shut up. <laughs> 